Hey guys, welcome back to Booty Day with me, Coach Cody. Uh, happy to have you with this awesome workout going on today. Uh, so if you are at home, I want you to grab a few things for your intensifiers for this workout, if you have them. Uh, so I have my trusty little, I call them these little booty bands or your panty bands. Uh, if you happen to have one of these guys laying around, go ahead and break it out. We may put this to use. And then of course, any weights that you have, hopefully already have out in front of you. As always, these workouts can be done with just body weight, but we want to have those guys on the side just in case we want to make it a little harder, okay? All right, guys, so I'm going to get you started with some static stretching first, and then we're going to move into some dynamic stretching and then into our workout. So to begin, I want to start off with a good old-fashioned, just lower back, body hinge stretch. We're going to hold this for about 10 seconds. A full body fold. I want to get that lower back relaxed. Take a deep breath out. Let your head hang for three, two, and one. Come up nice and slow. All right, if you've got the balance or you can hold on to something, we're we'll doing a little quad stretch. So right foot down, left foot reach back. Right here, I just want to stretch out this quad for 10 seconds. Now, I have a lot of imbalances, so if you see me kind of shaking around. When I was a little kid, I had leg braces for about two years, literally, like shoes attached to like full-fledged force go. So I have some bow-legged action going on. So if you can't stand straight, I'm with you, okay? All right, stretching out that quad. You're trying to reach that heel back to your butt really struggling right here. I'm trying to, trying to hang this so that I can look uh, good for you guys. Three, two, and rest. We're going to drop it down now. I'm going to just take my right foot out, heel. I'm going to keep this leg nice and straight. I'm going to reach down. I'm going to hold this toe, and you're going to feel the stretch all through your hamstring, down into that calf, and you can pull that toe up to you right here for five, four, three, Two, let's switch out to the other side. It's gonna kick that foot out in front. I'm gonna hinge forward, keep that leg nice and straight. You're gonna feel a little stretch to that right flank. And through your left hamstring and calf for five, four, under kicks, okay? So for our air squats, here we go. It's just gonna be a basic air squat down for 10. Ready? And one. Up, two, up, three. Check out your feet. Make sure that when you're going down, you have this nice little V angle that happens with your knees. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna go wide to a little side to side windmill action right here. I'm gonna reach down, touch the toe. One, back to center. Two, good. Three, you're gonna feel this lower back. Four, and through those hamstrings. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Three to go. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. All right, stand it up nice and straight. We're gonna go into what's called a punter kick. We're gonna plant our right foot down. You'll notice I have a mat behind me. I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna do one rep right here to show you. Up. Kick straight up. You can use your fingers as a toe uh, aim otherwise you're just gonna kick straight out we're gonna do ten on each side here we go three two one and go one two this is just a little dynamic warm-up so take it slow find your balance okay five six seven eight nine and 10, good, plant that left foot down, right foot, here we go. 10 on the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right here, we're gonna go right into 30 seconds of a high knee. 30 seconds of a high knee, and go. So 
So if the high knee is too advanced for you, you can take this just to a knee up, back and forth. Otherwise, I want you to try to get that knee to hip height. All right, getting 10 seconds left to go. In three, two, and rest. All right, so your favorite, butt kicks. Heel to booty, heel to booty. We can take it to a fast fix right here. And begin, 30 seconds. You're gonna feel the stretch through your knees, through your quad. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, time for the fun workout. So guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this to three segments. So the first segment, three exercises. I'm gonna go through the first round with you, kind of a follow the leader, okay? And then we'll take this to three additional rounds. So four rounds total. We're gonna start off with 60 seconds of a front squat. If you have a dumbbell, you're holding here. Kettlebell, you're holding here. If you have two dumbbells, imagine I have two side to side, all right? 60 seconds, front squat, but we're not gonna come all the way up. That's gonna be the catcher in this one. So we're gonna go down here and up almost about 80%, but not to the top. You guys ready? 60 seconds, starts in three, two, one, and begin. So down right here. We're just gonna take this nice and slow. Use whatever weight you have. If it's just body weight, that's all right. We're going for 60 seconds. You're gonna feel this a lot more in those legs, because we're not fully extending up. All right? Ooh, we're gonna feel those quads start to burn right here. We're keeping them engaged the whole time. I'm pressing my weight distributed across my foot, heel, center of my foot to my toes. Okay, we're almost there, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, we're gonna put that weight down. Drill number two, 30 seconds, a right side, a left side, glute pulse. So I'm gonna come down right here. Make sure your upper body is right over your glutes. I'm gonna plant my heel. I'm gonna right here, 30 seconds. Straight up, straight down. I want you to press through the heel. Slightly lift that toe. Here we go, in two, one, let's begin. So that front toe, lift it slightly. Keep that work whew, into that glute. We're only going for 30 seconds. I know you're already gonna feel it burn, okay? Keep your upper body back. You're gonna wanna do this, don't do it. All right, last 10 seconds. And then we're gonna switch our feet. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Switch it, other side. Drop that knee down. Three, two, one, and begin. 30 seconds. Plant that heel, lift that front toe. Whoa. Yes, okay, if you need to modify this, Here's how I'm gonna have you modify this. Otherwise, you keep going, okay? If you need to modify, take it here, stand all the way back up, okay? That's how we modify it to make it a little bit easier. All right, otherwise, you got five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, third and final drill. This is gonna be for your core. All right, so we're gonna come down to our mat. I'm gonna show you two exercises. The first one is our absicle. Legs stay straight. I tap my heels to the ground, but I never rest them on the ground. For 30 seconds, starts in two, one, and go. Right here. Driving it forward. If you don't have the band, just use the absicle. Keep those legs straight, though. The absicle is just like a bicycle, but our legs 
make the letter L. Good. Drive up and over. Keep it nice and controlled. We're almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, those are our first three drills. We're gonna take a 30 second break, starting back over. Front squats, use those weights. If you have them, anything will work. Most importantly, do not come back up into a full standing position. Okay, you guys ready for this? Round number two starts now. And go. So right here, all the way to that 80% line, okay? I'm not coming up so I can keep my quads and glutes activated. All right, so it's that somewhere in between that full range and that pulse mode. Good. I want you to feel your weight shift back onto those heels, midline of your foot. Ooh. We've been having to be very creative with how do we work our body without using weights. Easy little tricks, y'all. It's all about tempo. It's all about angles. We can do so much with just using our own body weight. You don't necessarily have to have dumbbells. Okay, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go to that reverse. I'm gonna turn this way. You're gonna start on the leg that you ended on, that reverse lunge with that little pulse right here in three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Notice my back toe. I am keeping it connected to the ground. I'm pushing all that work from, the, uh, from my heel up to my hamstring into that glute. We're halfway. Make it burn nice and slow. The slower you go, the more it's gonna burn. Good, keep that upper body back over that hamstring. In three, two, and switch it out. 30 seconds. Other foot, bring it down. This is my bad leg, so I don't know if I can make it for the full 30 seconds, but I'm gonna try. Two, one, go. Right here, press. If you feel you have too much of an imbalance, you can take it to a full standing, okay? That can be your modification. I'm gonna do this on this leg. I'm a little weaker on the left side. I'm still a little petite from all my other workouts. All right, we got this, 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. I'm coming down to the ground. Absicles or grab your band. Since I showed you guys how to use the band, I'm gonna join you in those absicles if you don't have one. Legs make an L. Two, one, go. Good. Reach up. Notice my heel lightly taps the ground and I bring it straight back up. Now gang, I have very tight hamstrings. I stretch all the time. So I'm trying to make this L shape with my legs. So you got to as well. Push it through. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going back to the beginning. First, three drills, front squat, two, front squat, and go. Keep it nice and slow. Don't come all the way to the top. I'm gonna give you a little side view angle right here. A little side view. I'm not coming all the way up. I'm keeping that glute and hamstring activated. If you wanna go a little lower, do it. Yes. This is our third round right here. Third round. You got this. You've got 10 seconds left. Push it out. Woo. Quads are burning. Man. And five, four, three, 
Soothe and rest. All right, we're gonna take it back to those reverse lunge pulses. Reverse lunge pulses. Starting in five, four, three, two, and begin. Right here. All right. Hope you guys at home can still hear me. My mic batteries just died. Do that glute. Push it up. 30 seconds. Woo. If this gets too much, take it to that full work. You got this. 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and other side. I'm just gonna stay down here, it's easier. Other side. In three, two, and begin. Right here. Keeping that weight distributed over the glutes. Ooh. Dig that heel. Dig it in. Yes. Oh, booty pump. Booty pump right there. Oh, man. Come on. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And rest. Bring it down to the ground. Do those abcicles. Do those abcicles. Here we go. Ready. Three, two, and begin. Excellent. Woo. Oh no, sweat the context. I can't see. Oh, I cut my hair off. You guys didn't notice. So I wouldn't have my hair product. Get into my eyeballs. I think it made it worse. I got nothing else shoved up the sweat just goes right into my face. Come on, we got ten. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Alright, I'm gonna give you a minute break. A minute break at home. Our next few drills that we're gonna go into, if you guys have, if you guys have those little bands that I mentioned, we're gonna use those. Otherwise, we can stick to that one dumbbell or just body weight all week, just fine. I promise you, you have plenty of work on this. All right, I'm gonna give you guys about 30 more seconds of rest. 30 more seconds of rest. I'm just gonna take this guy off. Whew. Batteries died. We're gonna start our first drill in 15 seconds. All right, so we're gonna start off with a side to side walk, either with those bands around your heels or right here with that weight. Now, if you've got weight, I want it here. I don't want it down here in between your knees, okay? Up here, or you've got those little side panty bands. Here we go, starting in three, two, and begin. We're going to take the 60 seconds to side to side. 60 seconds, side to side. Good. The lower you go, the more it's going to burn. Okay? The lower you go, the more you're going to work those glutes, that side booty, the booty nipples. Yes, if you've got those bands on, you're going to stay a little straighter. I'm going to show you guys that next. I've got my bands waiting, but I wanted to get through this one first. Okay, we're going for a total of 60 seconds. We've got 10 seconds left to go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna take this now into a ski pulse. I'm gonna take this one dumbbell, or no dumbbell, you choose. Most important is the placement of our feet. I'm gonna take them close together, literally right underneath my hips, so I have a nice hip, knee, toe alignment. I'm gonna come down right here and sit back into it. I'm gonna show you from the side view as well. I'm just gonna sit right back in, okay? And I'm gonna pulse starting now. Let's go. If you find that weight is too much, drop it down. Okay? You can use those hands behind you, in front of you, wherever you need them. 
okay? They're kind of your distractors. We're just pulsing. You want to take it slow, right here through those quads. Just sit back with your knees. Good. I like to have my hands out front. It's the best counterbalance for me. And yes, I know, those quads are already hurting from that first drill. Okay. Luckily, this one's only 45 seconds. You got 10 left to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, we're gonna come back down to our mat into a Russian twist. I'm gonna use this weight to get a little balance for my feet. 30 seconds here, okay? Russian twist, okay? Russian twist, side to side. Here we go, two, one, begin. 30 seconds. Now notice, I'm just rotating on my spine. I'm trying to bring my shoulder line nice and across. Make sure you don't punch in. Keep that chest out. Keep it up. Good. Whew. Feel that core. You've got weight. A light little tap down to the side. Back and forth. You've got 10 seconds left. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, stand it back up. I'm gonna grab my bands. And a quick sip of water. Got your band up? You have these guys at home. If you've got these guys at home, put your bands on. Otherwise, you're using that weight. We're going to take it to that side to side step. I don't know why I grabbed blue. That's rule number one. When you're trying to do a video feed and exercise, you don't choose the weights that you would do on your own. You're not having to talk, but. Here we are in two, one, let's go. Oh shit, woo, so you got that green band. All right, you've got that band on. You're doing fewer steps, so maybe you take, or sorry, your width is a little less, so maybe you're taking a few steps at home, okay? Now, if you're using those bands, I'm staying more upright, okay? I'm looking forward. My upper body is not moving. All that work, comes to the side of that glute. Ooh, oh, keep going. Now, if you have that weight, you're gonna take longer strides to the side. Just do two. I love these bands. Oh, they're my favorite. I haven't used a lot of them because I know a lot of people don't necessarily have these at home. Oh, three, two, and rest. Oh, ooh. Shake it out. Or, you know what? Actually, let's be a little creative. I'm gonna keep this guy. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, okay? Since I'm not using weight, I'm just gonna keep this band here, and I'm gonna come down into that skier. In three, two, one, and go. Yeah, there we go. So I'm having to push out just a little bit with that resistance, otherwise, uh, I get my, I don't know what I was about to say. I was like, I got to pee pee. <laughs> don't do that, all right? You wanna keep those legs nice and squared away. Pushing, use those quads, sit back into it. Don't lean over, okay? Yes, I know we're, we said skiers, but I want you to kind of sit back into it. Ooh, you're gonna feel that in that glute too. And that quad, we got 10 seconds. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh. I'm being lazy, I'm gonna just keep this band on, but I'm gonna move it back down. Uh, okay, here we go. Our side to side, okay? Perky pecs, perky pecs. Keep them out. All right, here we go. Two, one, begin. 30 seconds. If you have any object, it doesn't matter what the weight is, I want you to tap it down. That's gonna get you to reach a little bit lower, okay? You're just reaching a little lower. Take it slow and controlled. If you want to make this harder, lean back more. Ooh, that's going to go further into those lower abdominals. Keep those shoulder blades somewhat together. Perky pecs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, okay. 
You guys got this? We got one set left to go. Holly says her legs are on fire. We're on mine too. They are burnt up. But we can do it because we are more than halfway. So I want you up on your feet for me. Up on your feet. Now, I brought this out earlier. If you have one of these guys, we can use it the same way. All I do is step down on top right here. I stand, I cross, and I hold, okay? I'm not gonna use this, but if you guys have this at home, so I want you to do this next set with these side steps. All right, we're gonna begin in three, two, one. Well, let's get some booty burn on and go. One full minute, okay? Take more steps. If you've got room, if you've got a big space that you're working out in, you don't have to keep it to two or three. You can do four in one direction, four back. As long as it's even, I don't care. You're gonna feel it either way. All right, when you gotta take breaks, stand up. Ooh, my butt cheeks are ah, quivering. All right, side to side, booty dimples. Booty dimples. Ah, bathing suit season is upon us. Oh. I don't really think that applies to a lot of guys, but I do like to wear a Speedo time to time, so this applies to me. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about, though. Oh, come on. Come on, we got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Whoo, 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 whoo. Shake it out. Okay, I'm gonna take this back in to my skier pulse. Oh, man. Those guys are killing me. I'm gonna use this. Now, if you are at home and you haven't shaved your legs in a few days, there you go. It just rips the hair right off. You're welcome. In three, two, bring it down. Right here, pulse, nice and slow pulse. Oh, man. I didn't really think about how bad this was gonna burn in my programming coming from that side to sidestep into these skier pulses. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, yes. Get those hands up. Praise Jesus' hands. Whatever you're into, keep them up. That's your counterbalance. Right here, glutes, hamstrings, quads. It's all burning. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna come down to the ground. This is our Russian twist. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. I'm gonna take this guy off. Here we go, five seconds. I'm gonna use a little weight this time since it's the last one. Three, two, one, and go. Side. Now notice on this, I've also picked up my heels. Totally fine to do. Makes it a little bit harder. Side to side. I just want you rotating on that spine. Crisscross your legs a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Mm, 15, we got it. I'm gonna give you guys a minute break. You gotta work for it though. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, nice job, okay. Grab your water. And then I'm gonna tell you our next three drills. Next three drills, which are our final three drills. Grab your water. Oh, man. So I'm gonna change the last part of our workout just slightly to some single side work. So it's gonna be a little harder. So think of this kind of as your burnout, okay? So for each drill, we still have just three two legs and one core, uh, but it's gonna be right side or left side on each one. So we're gonna take it to about 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left for each one of these drills. So I've got my little handy dandy box. If you have your box, your set of books, whatever, I mean, you've gotta have something in your house that you can stack, even if it's a few inches. This guy is about 12 inch box, okay? I want you to use it. We're gonna take this into our front squats. Remember, if you wanna go harder, grab whatever weight you have, okay? 
I'm gonna stick my back toe here, front foot out. All my focus is on that front quad. So straight down, okay? You guys ready for this? Three, two, and begin. So we're gonna go 30 seconds. I'm gonna come all the way up. Okay, now that first drill that we did, those little reverse lunge pulse it, pulses, we didn't come all the way up. This one we must. If you've got dumbbells, you can just hang it to the side. That also works just as well. But you're gonna keep it on the side of the leg that is down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch it, okay? I'm gonna switch my feet. I'm gonna switch that one dumbbell, okay? 30 seconds, three, two, and go. This is my bad side. Going down a little lower, good. If you happen to be working out in front of a mirror, I want you to make sure that hip knee toe line is nice and straight, okay? All the way down, all the way up. Perky pecs, perky pecs. Don't let them lean down. All right, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, that's right left on that single leg. Now, for my glute bridge fanatics, we're gonna amp it up a little bit today. I got a new one for you. So we're gonna start here. This is gonna hurt. I'm gonna take my right foot down. I'm gonna lift my left foot up, and I'm going to lift. So I'm gonna use my upper body as a prop. I'm gonna come down and all the way up. We're gonna go 30 seconds. If you find that that's not enough work, or you just don't like it, lay down flat on that back. You choose, here we go. Two, one, and begin. Down and up. And you may have to adjust a little bit to get maximum height. If you don't fill it in the glute hamstring after about five reps, move those fingertips either forward towards your heels or further behind. But I want to keep this leg straight out in front because it's adding weight for that right leg. Oh, if you do not feel this, uh, you got stronger glutes than I do. My last name was Butler. Five, four, three, two, and right side. So left foot down. Right leg out, and go. Tap the butt down, drive it up. Tap the butt down, drive it up. Good. Whew. Keeping this leg straight out. Oh. Glutes, glutes, glutes. Yeah. And I want you just to lightly touch your right booty cheek down. Drive through with the left. Adjust those fingertips if you need to. And you can turn those fingertips out if that's more comfortable on your wrists. Three, two, and rest. Oh man, that was a tough one. Okay, left side for my side obliques. You guys know that loving these right here. Okay, I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna do a hip touch straight down. Okay, 30 seconds in three, two, and go. Hip touch, 30 seconds. If it's too much, hold that plank. If that's too much, come right here. You can still get a lot of work. I'm gonna stay in this modified position, but if you can do those hip touches, do them for me. I practiced a little bit too much on this workout yesterday, so my oblique started burning. Oh, you wanna keep that nice neutral spine from your knees to your hips, to your shoulders. We're holding this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, I'm gonna flip it around. Other side, okay? Same thing. And two, one, begin. So when we say neutral spine, basically what that sounds like, we wanna keep our spine in a neutral or straight position I mean, you don't want your head hanging down. I don't want my butt behind me. Right here, from my tailbone up to my neck, nice and straight. I'm driving this oblique up as high as I can go. This one's keeping me upright. And three, two, 
and rest. Good work, y'all. Two more rounds. We're gonna stand it back up to that front leg squat. Front leg squat. I'm gonna give you guys some modifications on this. Otherwise, grab the weights, put up for me. Two, one, and rest. If you wanna modify, I want you to take this down right here. And I want you just to go up and down, nice and slow. If you have any knee issues, so we're just not going as far down. We're going to about that halfway mark right here, nice and slow and controlled. Remember, tempo can make it harder, okay? We're just changing up the range of motion. All right, five seconds left to go. Four, three, two, and rest, switch sides. Now, if you don't need the modification, I want you to get that knee all the way down in three, two, and begin. This is my modification here. Also, make sure your toe is on the edge of whatever you're using so you don't hit your shins. If you're not modifying, I want that knee down low, okay? Otherwise, halfway and stand. Halfway and stand. 10, eight, six, four, two, and rest. Okay, guys, single leg, glute bridge. Okay, I showed you the hardest way first. So watch my fingertips, they go out. Turn them out, heel here, straight up. Two, one, and go. Up, down, take it nice, like a half a second down. Half a second up at the top. I do put in a slight little pause to just really squeeze that glute. Really squeeze it right there, okay? You can adjust those hands, fingertips, any direction you need to make them comfortable. 10 seconds left, then we're gonna switch feet. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest, other foot, and go. Gang, we have about four minutes left of work today. Stay with me, I know those legs are burning. Here's what I'm curious about. How many of you have done every single workout that has either gone live or posted on demand? When we take this next break, if you're in that select group, let me know, I'm just curious. I think we're done. We're on to day 27, I believe. Two, one, and rest. Do that oblique, scooch it over, scooch it over. I know many of you are just joining us midway through our series. So you got a lot to catch up on. But if you've been here the whole time, give us a little shout out, hands to the sky. 30 seconds, and begin right here. I'm gonna give you that minute break. Actually, I lie. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds of break after we do these obliques. And then we have one final round to go. Now, don't be commenting yet, because you gotta be doing these obliques. You gotta wait, you gotta wait. Five, four, really long seconds. Three, two, and switch it around. Start in the other oblique in five, four, three, two, and begin. 30 seconds right here. Push that oblique. All the words, oblique, flank, love handles. We got them all. Whatever your choice of definition is, I want you pointing it out to the sky. Good. Hang with me for 10. Nine, neutral spine, neutral spine. I messed up there, I've, I've done here. Keep it neutral, five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, Whoa, 30 seconds. Oh man, this is killing me. In a good way though. All right, if you've been with us for the entire series, you've hit every single workout, let me know. I'm gonna see how many of you guys are in that special club. Maybe you'll catch up. That also counts because we don't launch a workout on Sunday. So if you've missed, you can make up on Sundays. 
I may have something special for those of you that get through the entire thing. All right, I'm gonna give you 20 more seconds. Oh, Evan! Oh, Evan has done all dot, 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 but two. You'll catch up. Todd has done them in spirit. Okay, I don't think you guys quite understood what I was saying. All right. Jeff Klein, congratulations. Jeff Klein. Out of uh, several hundreds of people, Jeff, so far, you're the only one. I encourage you all to catch up with Mr. Jeff. All right, guys, here we go. This is going to be our last and final set. We're going to start off with that single leg front squat. Use those weights. One dumbbell to the side. If you got it, here we go. Three, two, one, and down. And up, down, and up. Ooh, good. All the way down. I want you to really feel it through that quad. If it's not enough, grab whatever you have. If you don't have anything, here's the little trick. Boom, right there. For this last set, if you want to add in that jump, that'll kill them. If you don't got any weight, three, I'm not going to do it, two, and rest, other side. If you don't have any weight, do that front jump. Do that front jump. Three, two, one. And go, here's that front jump again. If you have no weight, and you know you can work a little harder on this last set. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, man. Oh, me and Jeff, we've done them all. Come on, gang. Give me 10 more seconds right here. We are at the final end of our workout today. Three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Single leg glutes. Okay. You're gonna keep that crab position. If you got it, if you're just like, damn Cody, I'm beat. I'm gonna join you down on the floor. Because damn Cody, I'm beat. Right here, foot up, left foot down. Three, two, one, and go. Bridget, or you've got a little elevation. You get to choose which one you do for your last set of the day for the legs. Push it out, gang. All right. Count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch, other side, and go. Right here. Oh. It's Monday. This should last us for a good three solid days. Oh. We are more than halfway. Final 10 seconds. Keep that glute activated. No matter what modification you're using. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm just gonna roll it over into my plank position right here. Three, two, and up and go. Right here, neutral spine. Now this is your last oblique. If you can do that full plank bridge with those pulses, give them to me. I'll jump in. If I'm asking you to do it, I should too, right? Oh, man. Oh. We got 10 seconds left right here. Then we're gonna roll it to the other side and then we are done. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Final 30 seconds, y'all. Final 30 seconds. Set it up. Two, one, let's go. I'm trying not to do my sexy breathing in your ears. Oh, come on, 10. Very long seconds, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and rest. Oh, nice job. All right, gang. Good work today. I hope your legs are on fire just like mine are. Stay tuned. We have a full lineup of many more workouts to come over the next week. Make sure you take a moment to stretch out, warm it down, get your water in your carts. And until next time, stay fit.